folks, Chris Souders here. Got five rigs I'm gonna show you this afternoon to help me put fish in the boat every time I'm out fishing. So let's take a look at the five simple rigs that I use on a normal basis. Okay, so the first uh, rig is just a regular slip sinker rig, Carolina rig. You got a no roll down to a bobber stop. That helps it keep the knot from uh, smashing. Uh, you make sure you use that. If not, you're, you're going to smash your knot, break the fish. It might be a fish of a lifetime, you never know. So next we got a regular barrel swivel down to 18 inches of line to a Diachi. And that's a no snell knot, dot Diachi, 18 inches of leader line. Most basic, simplest rig there is on the market. You can, uh, we drift with this, anchor fish, flathead, blue cats, channel cats, that's, uh, you can change the weight, change the variations, change your leader lines, simplest basic rig there is. Uh, the next, uh, next rig we're going to use, we're going to try, or, you know, I want to show you, there's another very simple rig. So, second rig show this afternoon is what we call a three-way so you got your main line tied down to just a it's just a three-way swivel two swivels put together your main line goes on top of the one barrel swivel we got a snap ring here that's for your sinker <clears throat> then your leader line comes down once again you can uh, you can change this up different variations once again another a dot Diachi, no snail. Now the reason we use this three-way, a lot of times when you're flathead fishing, you're fishing in a lot of brush, and uh, you want to make sure that you're getting straight contact with your bait. Like you're fishing with a live bait, you want to make sure that this hook and your main line leader is in tied together. Your sinker's down here on the bottom. Whenever you pull that main line, if you're in brush, you pull that sinker up out of it, a lot less snags. It'll keep you from losing a lot less tackle, or a lot more tackle. Okay, so the third rig we're gonna show you today, it's uh, it's basically just a Kentucky knot. It's a double hook rig. You can see a rig, two hooks. Got the sinker at the end. Now we use this a lot for drifting. It gives you different uh, variations. And uh, you want your leader line you know, six, eight inches long. <clears throat> you want them about two foot apart. That way you have one close to the bottom and you have another one close to the top. A lot of times I'll use smaller hooks with these. These are uh, five aught Diachis. And uh, reason being, you know, you, you're gonna catch a lot of channel cats with these, these rigs. Um, the knots are not real strong. So you go to plan on catching, you know, real big, big fish. You get a 40 pound fish on here your odds of snapping that that knot, that Kentucky knot, are are a lot more than if you had a swivel in there. Uh, let's show them this real quick. I'll show them how to tie this. Let me get a let me get a hook or a pair of cutters. So. A lot of people don't know, don't understand. A lot of people don't understand what a Kentucky knot is. So, Kentucky knot is a simple knot that is actually a snail knot as well that you can you can snail with. So, you have your you have your line just like this, and you want to make a loop. You want your loop big enough. You want your loop big enough that you can wrap around your two fingers. But you want to hold it just in your fingertips, and you'll wrap it around, and you'll hold it again. You grab it with these two fingers, and you'll twist one, two. Grab it with those two. Pull it through. Cinch it down. Okay, so that's your bottom. That's for your sinker. You just 
put that loop through the eye of the sinker, lap, lap it over top of it, easy as pie, change it out if you need to, have your weight, ladder weight, go into your next one. So you drop it down, you know, however far you want it off the bottom. Say you wanted a foot, drop it a foot, make you another loop. You want it about you want it about eight, eight, ten inches long. Give you plenty enough for him to work with your fingers. Once again, you have all the line right here in your fingertips. Wrap it around. Pull it. These two fingers again. One, two. Grab the loop. Pull it through. Cinch it down. So here's where you've, if you're wondering how this is going to be a snail. This is where it turns into a, a modified snail. Pinch your loop together, just like so. Put it in the eye, going from the back to the front. I always want a snail knot going from the back to the front. So you got it through, now you got the loop on the hook side. Put the hook through the loop, go around the shank, back over, opposite side around the shank, back over, back over. Got a snail. So, that's a Kentucky rig. You can do it with you can do it with one or you can come up here. Now, if you want to have variations, if you're blue cat fishing, drifting, get some variations on depth. So now so now we got one bait a foot off the bottom. We're gonna come up here a couple a couple feet. We're gonna tie it again. So now now you got a hook four feet off the bottom and you got a hook that's one foot off the bottom. Use this for anchor, drifting, uh, blue cats, flyheads, channels. Use this a lot for channel cats and small blue cats. But remember, that knot is not super strong. So if you get a really big fish on, odds are that knot is probably gonna fail you. But if you're channel cat fishing and in a quick, you wanna do something quick, that's a good knot, that's a good rig. Produces a lot of fish. Okay, so the uh, fourth rig that I use, and this would be mainly for dragging, dragging for blue cats. Uh, no current situations or light current situations. Uh, first off, we'll start <clears throat> another three, you know, three three way barrel swivel rig. Another snap uh, snap makes it so easy to get, you know, a dragon tail or pencil weight or whatever, you know, whatever you plan on using to drag with makes it so much easier to get it on and off and quick and easy. So, out of the way, but. Once again, you'll want your line on this one to be in contact with your sinker instead of the other way around to where your line on a regular three-way needs to be in contact with your main line and your, your leader. This one you want it on your sinker. And reason being is it helps it up and over top of brush and snags and helps you keep that, your, you'll feel the sinker you know, with your main line, it helps it get up and over, you know, brush and on ledges. So, once again, three-way, snap for your weight. You'll come down and this'll be two and a half, three foot, that'll change, however you want to do it. Just a peg float. Once again, a dot Diachi with a no snell knot. And, we use this a lot today, out here fishing. I uh, caught a few fish on it. It's a good production fish. You can add this to planer boards and plane out for channel cats, blue cats. It's not as effective for flatheads as anchor drift, you know, anchor fishing is. But for drifting, blue cat waters, very productive. Channel cats, very productive. This is uh, rig number five. But uh, before I show you all this last rig, I'd like to take a second to thank. My sponsors, Warrior Cat Rods and Monster Rod Holders, uh, for you know for providing this stuff that they provide me with to catch these monster fish and help me win Angler of the Year for 2016. Uh, without them, it just would not be 
be able to do it. So for rig number five, this is a rig I don't use a lot, but it can be very productive in the right situations. So start with, this is just a homemade, homemade float. Uh, this is pool noodle with a small float stuck inside, just a slip float. And you'll put, you'll put a bobber stop however deep you want it to be. Uh, if you want to fish eight foot, 10 foot, 20 foot. Okay, so you come from the come from the float on down. These floats that I make are good for three to six ounces, no more than six ounces. So got a three ounce sinker, no roll. You can use an egg sinker if you want. Once again, can't stress enough, bobber stop. Keeps your knot from getting, you know, frayed up, knocked off, broke, ops, you know. You gotta have them. If you don't have them, you're gonna lose a fish for a lifetime. Barrel swivel. I do not make these very long, you know, 10 to 18 inches max. Uh, once again, this is a this is a good rig. You can catch blue cats, channel cats. Um, I have a channel cat hook on here. It's a five odd Diachi. It's a no snail. And if you're if you're in a low current situation, with when I say low current, 0.1, 0.2. You're dragging baits. You want to have some of these out, suspended, away from the boat, behind the boat, where there's no noise, uh, no movement. They're just floating along. Live bait, cut bait, however you want to do it. But a very productive way to get get baits away from the boat, more surface area in the water, and you're going to be more productive the farther you can get your baits in this, you know, bigger pattern you can get out. Whether it's channel cats, blue cats, or flatheads. Bitter, bigger surface area, more baits in the water are going to equal more fish. Now, for nobody, for everybody that doesn't know what a no snail is, I'm going to go through it real quick and show you guys what what a no snail is. Okay, so for everybody that doesn't know what a no snail is yet, or that you know has asked me, you always want to take your line and go from the front to the back. You hold that with your thumb and your index finger. Now, I always wrap mine seven to nine times. And you're always going to wrap them counterclockwise around the shank of the hook. So you wrap them, take your other end of the line, and go from the back to the front. Cinch it down tight. Now, what that does. That gives you an action that whenever that fish grabs it, it's automatically going to go into the corner of its mouth, keeping it from getting foul hooked or, you know, worse off swallowing the hook and dying. So that is the most common no snail, easy, strong. The harder you pull on it, the tighter it cinches down. So I hope everybody enjoyed the, you know, got something useful out, out of my five rigs that I use on a normal basis. They're regular rigs that can be modified. Uh, this is the way I'd, I like to do them. I have confidence in doing them. Uh, once you find confidence in a rig, that is the most important part that I feel about putting catfish in a boat. You gotta have confidence in what you're doing and how you're doing it. And these are the five rigs that I use on my boat all the time to help me put in fish in this boat. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, Chris Souders, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any information you'd like to see more videos of, please leave them in the comments below. But once again, I'd like to thank Warrior Cat Rods, Monster Rod Holders, for helping me do what I do. And thank you for watching.